let's come back and study the next compound of sodium that is sodium carbonate what is this we're going to study about washing soda so the formula which we studied in grade 10 that is sodium carbonate 10 h2o that is decahydrate this is the water of crystallization part of this so when this when we say water of crystallization we can say it is sodium carbonate is a white crystalline solid okay let us write that white crystalline solid okay right so when i have to write the compound the compound already written na2co3.10 h2o now what is the preparation so the preparation which we use uh, for uh, this in manufacture of sodium carbonate that is washing soda is called solve process so we are going to use solve process for this so what is the method i'll just give it simpler i'll make it simpler and write it in the solve process na plus i'm going to write the ionic reaction and this is going to combine with cl minus along with that ammonium plus and hydroxyl in the step one what will happen and just see um right hco3 a2 co3 right so ammonium chloride fine so let us combine along with that carbon dioxide also now see na is like that your cl minus also is like that h2 co3 okay or hco3 let us write hco3 minus hco3 minus and nh4 plus this is like this only right now what is happening in the second step this na plus is going to combine with your hco3 minus let us write this as step one let us write this as step two okay the na plus okay the step three let us write this as step three fine in step three when sodium cation combines with bicarbonate this is going to form sodium bicarbonate nahco3 sodium bicarbonate that is baking soda now in this baking soda further what happens when you heat baking soda right this decomposes baking soda when you're heating this decomposes into your hybrid sodium carbonate washing soda plus carbon dioxide plus water so this is the product to two suit me this is how you're going to prepare step one step two step three and step four right fine so now when i have to write the physical properties of this sodium carbonate decahydrate is a as i said it's a white crystalline solid and it readily is soluble washing soda obviously readily uh, is soluble in water okay this is also fine but what is important to remember as you increase the temperature the solubility decreases that is what is important as temperature increases solubility decreases i'll tell you why this reason also so let us come back and meet with the chemical properties start with the chemical properties again let us see the reasoning equations so in the washing soda the first important thing sodium carbonate does not directly means it will not react with water so how is this reacting it's going to washing soda ma'am you're saying how is it reacting but it reacts only by a process called salt hydrolysis you can see that salt hydrolysis right what is this now basically i'm going to take sodium carbonate i'm going to combine with water right now here what do we have we have a combination of salt of what is this carbonate has come from which acid from weak acid salt of weak acid plus strong base isn't it strong base right so together when they combine they combine with water what is this water can be written as hoh now what happens sodium comes out as sodium hydroxide and the leftover comes out as carbonic acid h2co3 so naoh is out and carbonic acid is out now see sodium hydroxide is a strong base what is this this is weak acid right so overall when i have to see the reaction this is the product formed as sodium hydroxide that means the ph of the solution is automatically obviously alkaline in nature because it is a strong base now when i have to calculate the ph what is the formula for this half of pkw in the numerical if they give you a numerical plus half of pk plus half of log c this is the formula so the overall reaction will be alkaline in nature
plasma can see the reaction of sodium carbonate with sulfur dioxide and reaction with sulfur and water. What is the speciality about this? We'll see. Now, if sodium carbonate decahydrate 10H2O, part of the crystal, if it's combining with sulfur dioxide, right? Simple. The same thing if sodium carbonate is coming combining with sulfur dioxide in the presence of water. Some two products will be different, isn't it? Right. So when this combines, you will get that is Na2SO3 plus carbon dioxide. This is what you get. Now, if you have water in this, the product formed is NaHSO3 sodium bisulfate plus carbon dioxide. This is what is important, which you should remember. Right. Now, when I have to come back with the reaction of sulfur with water. So, sodium carbonate decahydrate, yes, it reacts. This is a part of the molecule. I am not writing every time. When it combines with this elemental sulfur, colloidal sulfur, water also is present. This is going to combine and form a product that is a bit different Na2S2O3. What is this? This is called sodium thiosulfate. I already wrote this product earlier, sodium thiosulfate. So please remember, I have given both the combinations so that it is easy for you to memorize in the exam. See the next reaction. So what is this reaction with calcium hydroxide? Suppose when I take Na2CO3 dot 10 H2 a part of the molecule combining with calcium hydroxide. Don't get confused. Nothing here. So this is already a part of the molecule. It's simple. It's going to form calcium carbonate plus sodium hydroxide. Nothing else. Simplest reaction and you need to balance that. Right? Nothing else. Suppose if you are going you have reaction with silica sand. When you are dissolving sodium carbonate washing soda with silica SiO2 it's going to form a product called sodium silicate Na, Na2SiO3 sodium silicate so this is a simple thing and the leftover if I have to Na2SiO3 so the leftover is carbon dioxide remember this so these are the products so let us name this sodium silicate right fine let's come back and see the last set of reactions that is what happens when you decompose uh, the sodium washing soda what is that suppose if you are trying to decompose this Na2CO3 washing soda 10H2O when you are heating this okay when you are heating this we very well know the simplest reaction it's going to further decompose and this water of crystallization evaporates what are you left with you are left with Na2CO3 plus 10H2O this is simple decomposition reaction